Wow, is it wild here in New Zealand? It's disgusting. We've got all the elements coming in, hitting us, bombarding us with the coldest weather. That We've got snow, we've got hail, we've got sleet, we've got rain, we've got winds. We even hit the earthquake. So we're getting plummeted and overseas they've got the extreme temperatures. Well, today I, I just went into a, 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 a quiet space to lift my vibration because when I feel low, I don't stay in that vibration because I'm going to have a shit day. So I made sure that I sat there and lifted my whole being up and breathed all this energy out there of love and lifted my vibration with it. Now, when I went out there, I saw that we were in this dome and it was quite interesting because I had, it was like my head was peering over and looking back. And all I saw was all the elements are just getting aimed and bombarded at us. So yeah, it's a, it's a dial that's been turned on and to bring everybody's vibration down. And yeah, this is where you are now having to work out, hey, I'm not happy. I don't like this. So what are you gonna do about it? Hence, we've got people leaving the countries. We've got people shifting up, knowing that, yeah, I don't like the way I'm living. So they're actually starting to awaken. Why? Okay, they wanna change up. And while they're changing up, they're starting to listen. The ears are flapping because there are so many policies that are coming out that are just beyond, absolutely beyond. It's like a comedy getting played with a horror uh, spin on it. But you know, you know the truth. When you know the truth, you can feel it within your whole being what is right and what is wrong. And this is why we're having to go through it. There are people that are dropping like flies. Well, yeah, they are. But when you drop, you then turn around and start climbing and recognizing, I want change. I don't like being in this. And just be there for them. Give them the helping hand. Do not come plumbing at them. Come with love and help them and guide them. Now, the other morning I woke up and I had so much information coming flying at me and I just grabbed the closest piece of paper where I could just jot a few things down. Now, they were just showing me vision after vision and so I was just jotting it down and I'm just gonna start talking about it. Now, they showed me this quantum box and I feel that um, every household is gonna have this box and I don't know if it's outside or inside or whatever, but it's, it's connected with the uh, free energy that is gonna run all the devices in our, in our homes. We're not gonna have to plug in anything for the electricity that we use now. This is a free energy and we're not gonna get charged for using it because God made everything free. Food should be free. He provided, he provided you seeds. He provided you the nourishing uh, vegetables and the fruits. He provided you the meat. He provided you of everything you needed. The water is free. He provided this for you. He provided the air that you breathe. It was man that it got greed and could see that is what you need and took the control over and then charged it back to you. Well, this is where we're coming now. We are actually acknowledging we can't keep living like this. We can't live with the exorbitant prices, even to our petrol, and that's our minerals, you know, and when something should be free, the one that gifts and then watches and is now seeing the dis everyone, well, not everyone, the ones that are deceiving. They can only last so long for doing this to mankind. Well, more and more are awakening. And even if they don't awaken to the full on truth, they are acknowledging that they can't live like this. It is too expensive. And 
I'm wanting you to really now focus on learning to grow your food. Get back into basic living. Step out of that 3D matrix that you're living in because when you go to work and you got your mortgage and da 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 da, well, it's now time to reevaluate your life. You are struggling and you may not. And if you're not, good on you. But if you are, look at your life, how you can simplify it. Is it a huge mortgage that you've got? And why? Are you able to sell it in the prices now? Because they will be going down. I do see them going down. They're talking about, oh, it's going to plateau, blah, 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 blah. Honestly, in two months, I have seen prices going down in all the areas. Can you simplify? Can you move into another area? Can you can you sell up? Can you go into a t smaller home, a tiny home? Are you able to purchase some land and put a smaller home on? It's now time. What have you done? Have you brought in an economy that was up here? Have you looked at how much your price of your home is now? Because in my heart, yes, I know the interest rates are going to go up. And are you going to be able to cope with that? So start looking at those situations in your life. What about your job? Are you enjoying it? Or, or are you only there to pay your mortgage? Is this a form of living? Are you able to afford the food that you eat? Now, what they're trying to show you is that most of the foods that we are, be, have been eating and consuming a packet food of some sort. Those prices are going to keep going up and up and up. What can you do to provide for your family? How can you live like being off grid? Because one thing I've noticed big time is that time time is sped up dramatically now it is just going so fast i've jumped off the wagon of time <laughs> i am crazy with time and because i live by the wind of where it moves me and I know so many people are ABC, one, two, three, schedules. I don't because to me that's not, I'm not following my truth with my time. And, but that is something that you've got to, uh, to work with yourself. And let's see what else I was picking up on. Yeah, the power lines, the power lines outside they're non-existent. They, they don't exist because we're paying for all that, okay? We have already tapped into the free energy. It is all out there. When we shift our consciousness and come into the 4D, when we manifest it, bring it to our reality, this is when it can start coming through. We are all in belief. We can't afford, we can't afford, oh, we have to keep running... And keep chasing the 3D reality. Let's jump out of that and come into the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension has got everything that we need. Live simply. Now, yeah, the solutions of every ailment has already been uh, dealt with. It's already there. We know there is cures. Again, Who's been holding all that back? Who is earning from this? Okay. And again, going back into natural remedies. And hence why the bill in New Zealand has come through. So we can't get our hands on those products. I wonder why. Now, I'm going to start reading this. To me, it's like we've been stuck in a time warp. 
Well, the rest of our ancestors have evolved hundreds of years ahead of us in time. So we're left back here, but the ones that have moved on and, and they're already way ahead of us, they also come back in a form of a bird, a butterfly, to send us messages, to, just to guide us, just to let you know that, come on, come on, I'm here, I'm here, okay? And listen to the birds, listen, listen to nature as they guide you. I did a video a few years back saying the same, and, as, and the, I had 13,000 views on that. But from then on, it, my views have gone plummeted. It's obviously, I'm saying something right, aren't I? I've seen it for all of us. As I've time traveled and looked around at everything and I felt like my home out there I recognized it, understood it. But is that because living on different timelines at the same time? But so much more is advanced out there. It is, honestly, when I come back into this reality, it's so slow, it's so depressive, it's so heavy when you go out there. It's so much lighter and so much happier. But we do live simplistic. So isn't it now time to start looking at that? Go into your cupboard, start emptying out, start giving away. Because we're carrying too much baggage on us. From the cards that we're connected to your energy imprint. Now, what I was talking about that is that uh, uh, the banks, I don't feel they're going to be there. They were showing me again this card and it had this alive frequency and I can't, I've seen it before and I can't, I can't recall it, but I, it's a hologram. But as soon as it connects into your energy imprint, it activates. And then you can use it to purchase whatever you need. But if I hand it to somebody else, it doesn't recognize the energy imprint and it will not be used. So this is why banks themselves, they're the ones that have kept us hostage with our money. Uh, replicators, definitely they're out there. To, to create the meals. And I remember seeing it's it's a thought it's a thought pattern, but also you were able to dial in and um, the meals were created for you. But I also saw whenever you need any food, again, they get replicated and they were on the bench. I remember doing the video on it when I went out there and did the remote view. Again, if you think about it, the supermarkets have kept us random with our food because they're the ones that have been hiking up the food, which should be free. But we, our, our taste buds, have acquired a taste on different bits and pieces instead of going back to the simplicity. Now, what I also uh, seen out there is different foods that I have never seen before, but even uh, I'm just connecting with it again. I've got my taste buds that, oh my gosh, I've got a lot of saliva coming on because there is so much food out there that we have not been shown. And uh, just even way, I'm just going like this, wanting to eat this food and it's beautiful. It's nourishing. It's like, a combination of the foods that we've got now, but exotic foods. Oh my gosh, they just show me so many right now. And the recipes, we're going to be given recipes, well, if you're wanting to cook, but it's like it's already going to be made for you. 
Even the manufacturers of packet and tin foods will be non-existent because the food in plastic bags in a couple container. Hello, no. In the tin, no. We will consume food no longer with these chemicals that are affecting our food before we even get to eat or consume them. You'll still be able to grow your own. And as new seeds of exotic fruit and vegetables that'll be presented to us to produce. All microchips will be removed from our pets as it disrupts them as they are all connected to the grid of the 5G. Have you noticed that so many of our pets have been dying? They've been also been dying from the chemicals of the food that have been poisoned, but also they're so sensitive that they are connected into the grid with that five, uh, the microchip. And if that is the case, would that not be disruptive to, to the energy system within their bodies? I know myself, I would not want to be with the body, with the chip in our my body because at any time they can push a button and your uh, whole being can be poisoned by the radi radiation being through your body our dangerous phones and appliances will be, will be replaced as we no longer require the 5g towers for communication is there a new wave energy towers, energy provided for the phones that we will be giving? There, I do see a new phone. It's not, this, this, this itself is dead energy to me. But the phone that I see and, I, and I've used out there and I, and I it's like, Oh, it's, it's hard to describe it to you, but energetically, it's like part of you are, is in there. It knows what you're thinking, but it's I think it's you that's running it, energetically running it, but it doesn't disrupt our energetic self. I can feel that. Right down to planes will be obsolete. And two different concepts will be introduced to us instead of flying. As stargates have been taken away from us, there will be a new concept that will be presented. New technology, form of transport will be provided, hence why they are changing up the car models. Mobiles, mobiles. Showing you already how ridiculous electrical cars are, is once they have you locked, hooked in with the cars of the electrical ones, they control the grid and you won't be going anywhere if they take the control of your car. Not to mention the electricity going up, along with the cars draining the energy of the human body when you drive around in an electrical swamp. Hence why you should never ever sit in a car when they're charging it at those charging booths. This is a massive no, as the current that is charging the car goes right through you, draining your life force. Have you ever thought why they are repairing the roads as fast as they should, why they're not? repairing the roads is we won't be needing them. To me, a car is like a horse and cart. Transportation of what we know will no longer be relevant. There'll be no more of you showing off your wealth through your assets, as that is what life is about. As we all have fallen for the trap that if you work hard, you can afford this and then it shows others what you have achieved. 
We are all going to be equal. No one will be better than another through wealth. It will all be for what you can offer to another. You can see around you that this world as we know it is dying. It's dull and the weather is the worst all around the world. This is short lived for sure. I have seen a life of beauty and a beautiful blue sky along with the warmth of the sun and no more daylight saving. <laughs> that is beyond. I don't see the daylight saving as this is deleted as again this is for control purposes only why do we need it you get up in the morning in the dark in the winter and come home in the dark it keeps everyone in a down depressive state have you noticed also with the time it's friday one day and if you blink we're friday again is they trying to help shift your reality? In our new world, we don't live off time. You go with flow, as you've been programmed to believe in time. I've changed my whole life to jump off the time machine, and it's so liberating. You appreciate nature and a feel of sense of humbleness about every woken moment that we share with our loved ones. I see everyone having their own ability to heal oneself. As we have a body that is designed to heal itself if given the right environment and food. I see there are areas like now that you can go and be and stand and recharge and calibrate as the healing energy will not be weakened by the electromagnetic smog. I know within that all the main players of all the world corruption are no longer on this planet. I used to be able to tap into them, but not, not even the energy imprint has been left behind. I always get a reassuring sense when I tap in as a beautiful sensation runs through me of a positive soul or one that has a soul. It's like all our so-called leaders no longer have the power. Again, I see right through them as their soul is no longer. Everything that is rolling out to me is a hologram with no substance. And... Something I just wrote down here, Borax, let's go into um, healing product, Borax itself. I've mentioned it in another video before. It's actually salt. I've mentioned to different people, Borax heals. Don't quote me, but it heals. I said it again. What if it heals? Can it assist your body? It's sodium, it's sodium tetrabrate. Oh, I can't even see what I've written here. It is marketed as a washing product to a rat poison. So you would never ingest it. Remember, when they don't want you to consume something that can heal, they're always going to put it as a scary, oh no, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. Do you know what counteracts fluoride? With the fluoride that you're drinking from the tap water? Because fluoride goes in and calcifies your pineal gland, so you cannot see. Most people out there live like this because they're not connecting into their intuitive side from their pineal gland. It gets calcified by fluoride. And all the ads out there are all about, it's 
fabulous for our teeth. It makes our teeth stronger. But what does it do to our pineal gland? Definitely a little smidgen of the borax in your big jug of water each day. It counteracts the fluoride. There are so many products out there. And I've mentioned, you know, the Celtic salt or Celtic salt, depending on how you pronounce it, provides you the minerals for your body. Alkaline water to get the right pH in your body. Honestly, there are so many products out there. Anything that you can consume from nature. What has Mother Earth provided you from her soil? is what you consume that helps that goes right down to homeopathy and that is the plant that's been crushed and oh my gosh there's so many different oils it's incredible start your journey the right way because when you when you disconnect and go back with inside yourself this is when you can see more and i know the other day i haven't had time to go back out i just i get so consumed with i have no life of uh, because i that sounded really weird how i just said i've stepped out of my old life i should say i've created this abundance of joy and happiness of life that it's incredible because my days just keep merging and merging and merging into the next and of joy and happiness and what I'm creating. So I just wanted to share this with you and what I was going to say when I did do the um, remote view, when I went out there, I used my energetic field within myself to project out to see and I could see so much, but I was able to manipulate the time. And I was working with my hands because I projected, I could feel my whole energy going out and looking at life out there. But what was fascinating, I was able to move time by the stroke of my hand and I watched time go and I could bring it back or I could hone in. Once I honed in, I was then able to go deeper and deeper on that view of that vision that I was looking at. So I was honing in and I spoke of at my last video that I got disrupted. I had a booking that came through that took uh, a date that I had booked off me and that's not possible and so my brain stopped because I had to go and sort that out and I know if I went out to keep doing my remote view my brain would be stuck here hence why I came back but I'm really looking forward to going out and having a look at a lot more so it's getting more and more exciting but just know no matter what you're going through you're saying goodbye to an old energy that needs to be cleared okay so lift your vibration keep going you are doing incredible it's amazing when you are awake that you see and like i mentioned just before that the people running the game they don't feel alive to me anymore their souls are no longer they've all been changed up and what i'm wanting you to do is really feel the energy not what they speak do not trust anyone that speaks feel their soul because we are going to change it all up but you've got to change your life up you cannot rely on somebody else to change the environment for you. You step out of that environment because you've recognized that 3D reality is not one that you wish to participate in. When you put your energy into where you're wanting to go, more and more people will follow that. You can create your new world where you feel stronger. Why do you fit 
and mold yourself into that 3D reality to fit in and belong. It is not your reality now. So really take what I've said and if it resonates, start making some changes. Because when you do, you just keep climbing up and broaden your horizon. What have you... Oh, excuse me. That came out of my... <laughs> deep down from my soul. I was about to say, what have you got to offer? What can you do for another soul? That is your trading mark, okay? It's not the physical money. Start trading your time. And that is where you get so much more pleasure. And once you start connecting on that, it's like a wave that you surf. And it's incredible. So till next time, I will leave you with this to, to contemplate, to have a think. And yeah, I love you. Keep, keep going because it's getting more and more exciting. Even though it does feel like it's going like that. Push up through it. Stand tall. Find your grounding and find your strength because I love you because I can see you and I know you're going to make it through because you have the determination. Okay, till next time. Bye.